Hello, you're welcome to Let's Get Real, a show that comes on Urban every Sunday at 4 p.m. and I repeat on Tuesday at 10 a.m. My name is Joy Kilguru. Now, my topic today is about why marriages are breaking down, especially in the corporate world. And my guest today is none other than Mr. Frank Gashumba, who is an entrepreneur and a social activist. You're welcome, Mr. Gashumba, to Let's Get Real. Thank We're you, Joy. We're very happy to have you. We know how busy you are. Mm -hmm. How is Sheila? She's doing good. That's nice. And how have you been? I've been well, thank you. Good. How was, how was your weekend? My weekend was fine. And you had was, fun? Mm -hmm. Did At you go to church? Yes, I did. Why did you go to church? Why do you, because I'm born again and it's very important for me to spend time with the Lord every Sunday. Yeah, it's important that mm -hmm. every Sunday we go to church. Do you go to church? I do go to church and uh, before I go to bed every night, I have to kneel down and thank God for mm -hmm. what I am. That's true. Yes. Because he has blessed you, so mm -hmm. you need to thank him. Yeah, the only way how we, th we can thank God is mm -hmm. kneeling down before we, we go to bed. Thank him for what he has provided and ask him for more. Amen. Because That's we so also true. want to own planes. Yes. We also want to yes. own uh, houses in, in California. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, you know, Frank, I've known you for quite a while. So there are times we, we, we do meet and we talk about certain yeah. issues. Yeah. Today it's about why a marriage is breaking down, especially in the corporate world. Yes. And I, I thought it was grateful for you to be on the set today because I know that you have been observing over a period of time as well about what's happening. So what can you tell us? Uh, first of all, let's look at uh, life is changing every day. Mm. Those days of our parents, women would stay home every day to, to, to really work for their families, but it's the opposite of today. Mm. People in the corporate world work from 8.30 up to around 7 p.m. So they have to balance the two, their families and their jobs. At the end of the day, you have to sacrifice one. Mm. Why, why marriages are breaking up today? This, this institution called the marriage, we are not prepared for it. It's not a course you do in Makerere or Mokono University. Mm. It's something that people go into not knowing exactly what is there. My mom told me, like a year back, that there are days, if you are to get married, they told you that a marriage is the hottest place you can ever go to, knowing that everything that is there is terrible. So when you go into it, expect the worst. When you find something good in it, that's love. But today, women of today look at the wedding day mm, and the honeymoon. They look at the marriage. What happens after the honeymoon? That's why marriages are, are breaking up every day. First of all, and you know, the funny thing is that God will always get you attracted to somebody who is the total opposite of who you are. Yes. So the thing is that you're going to find that there are so many things you really don't know about this person. Mm -hmm. And I think maybe many times we don't make it a priority mm -hmm. in our lives. Mm -hmm. Because I think when people get into their career yeah. and they get their job, somehow they begin to think that the career is more important than the marriage. You fall in love with someone because he works for MTN. Because he works for Standard Chart, because he works for State House. Basically, you are, you are not falling in love with this That's person. True. You are falling in love with this title. The moment it's fired from MTA, from Standard Chart, from, uh, from State House, the relationship is over. Unless we fall in love with someone, not the titles they are holding, we have no future. And again, it takes us back who we are. I'm sorry, the corporates of today are the opposite of the corporates I used to hear about. Corporates in Uganda value their jobs than their families. If there was an option choosing between a family and their job, they would rather leave a family. And at the end of the day, if you lose your family, the chances are 90% you are going to lose the job. And on this planet, our first assignment is our families. That's Go the first, that is second true. is our families. Yes. Unfortunately, it's not there. And they don't blame these corporates. They, they don't have a, a fallback position. Your, your relationship is not working out very well. There's no one you're going to talk to. This, the, the people you call your friends, they are not they are, your they friends. They are backstabbers instead. They mm. are there. They will pretend that they are yes. there for you. Kumbe, they are, they are praying for a day that your relationship breaks up forever. In Africa, we used to have sengas. It's no more. Mm. Meaning, if you have a problem to do with your husband, you have to go to your sengas and you advise you what to do. Of recent, even sengas have turned out to be the opposite of what they're supposed to do. Our aunties would rather see your marriage crumbling than supporting it. Churches. Those days, if there was a problem, you could go to a reverend, to a pastor, to pray for you. Of recent, pastors are hyenas. <laughs> I don't think you can trust your wife with a pastor in Kampala. We know pastors that have married people who are made 
who, who were taken to the church to, 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 pray, mm. to pray for them. So it's a very complicated situation. You have no someone to lean on. You have no reverend to, to, to pray for you. And actually, some pastors to pray for you have to pay for them. You are getting me. Yeah, because of course you have the, a good job. Wonderful. So they know that the, as they continue coming to your office, you see, they don't even want your problem to end. Because if, if the problem ends, then they will get no money excellent. from you. Joy, you so they still want you to keep on coming. They come to their offices and say, I'm praying for you. But the point is, he just wants money. And he has to make sure that the problem continues for a long time. I agree with you, Joy, that mm. uh, actually you've made my day. It's a continuous project. The mm. moment Frank or Joy, the relationship is stable, this pastor won't be making money. So he's going to put there a scenario whereby your problems are forever. But personally, I believe the relationship you have with God, it matters a lot. That's if you true. have problems, kneel down and pray to God. Wake up at 3 a.m. Pray. Yes. That have a problem. Let me tell you, miracles happen. But if you, you try God and things don't work out, you try relatives. This man cannot change. This man drinks from Monday up to Sunday. This man is not supportive to you. You've tried each and everything. There is no sign of hope in your marriage. Simply pack up your bags and go and start a new life. There is a study that was done in the U.S. recently. People who are happily married now, they're in the third marriage. You get your first husband, it does not work. The second, the second marriage does the third one. Do you know why? Why is it the third one? The third one, you know your own weaknesses. Before you can even blame your husband, who are you yourself? You, you can shift this brain to your husband. Kumba, you are the problem yourself. That is true. And many times, by the way, we are the problem. I always tell because, friends. Yes. Joy, it's some... Hmm? I always tell friends, go to your bathroom, have a shower. After having a shower, you have a mirror. Remain naked. Look into that shower. Look into that mirror. Ask that person you see in the mirror, would you love this, that person? Mm -hmm. Is there anything you admire from this person? This mirror will tell you. If you have been cheating on your husband, this mirror will tell you that you've been cheating. If, if you drink Monday to Friday, this mirror will tell you. So before you can even bring your husband yes. or your, your wife, are, are you the right person? Because I think there are too many blame games. You know, everybody wants to shift the blame to somebody else. Mm -hmm. They never want to take time to actually look into themselves and say, am I really the person that I, do I, do I deserve to be with him? Am mm -hmm. I perfect? So they always, there's always this denial thing of uh, But it, they like call it shifting the brain. Yes. You always mm -hmm. shift the brain to your mother-in-law, uh -huh. to your sister's-in-law, yes. or your brother's-in-law. Mm -hmm. But you've never sat in a, a living room or your office and say, honestly, this person called Frank Agashuba, where is my biggest weakness? I always ask my friends, that, are you my friend? Is, tell me my biggest weakness. They will tell you Gashumba, your biggest weakness, you work from morning up to midnight. You have no time for your wife. Now I know it myself. I've changed. I can always mm, spare, spare some, some time, time for my girlfriend mm. or something. But again, it goes back to what you have just said. Before you can shift this brain game, are you the best? Mm -hmm. Before you got married to this person called James Peter, were you ready for this marriage? Women of today get married because all their agents are getting married. Mm -hmm. Women of today give birth because all her OGs are get, uh, 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 have children. You are getting it. Basically, he's looking for a man, a father of a son. But he's not ready. For example, what makes you a man is not the ability to make a woman conceive. Because to me, the easiest thing a man can do is to make a woman conceive. Any idiot, any fool, any baboon can, can do that. Can do that. Yes, mm -hmm. but that won't make you to be a man. But what makes you a man is the responsibilities you carry on. For you mothers, any woman can go to Mulago, to Namirembe, to Zambia, to IHK and deliver. But what makes you a mother after delivery? What do you do when you wake up? Do you go in, in your children's bedroom and see? Do you prepare breakfast for them? Do you call home to find out that my children had lunch? What time do you go back home? But the corporates of today, their children are being raised by maids and shamba boy. If they want to see their mother, they watch TV. If they want to listen to their dad, they listen on radio. Give children unlimited liberty. You are going to pay price for that. You cannot tell me my maid does know my children better than better. Mm -hmm. It's impossible. There is no way you're going to tell me that my daughter is, is a driver that takes my daughter to school. Look at the scenario. You have an 18-year-old girl and the driver that takes her to school, he's 20 or 24. So they are going to be an attachment between your girl and the driver. Now, now if they end up sleeping together, they conceive, you are going to go all over Uganda, blaming, 
blaming you when you can go But Museveni is not responsible for that. It's you. I told you, our first assignment on this planet is our family. But I will your parents. I will your parents. I've attended weddings in Munyonyo at Serena and Iwanda. Billions of money spent on weddings. But six months after the wedding, you find Dennis. You ask Dennis, how is, how is Joy? You say, Joy, don't even tell me about that idiot. But what happened? You separated. Do you know what? They were not prepared. And I always tell my friends, who even are watching now Urban TV, if you're not ready for marriage, please, please don't go into that institution. It's not working for a read because if you do work for a read and things are not comfortable there, you can switch to another company. Mm. But the moment you have a ring, a ring on your finger, that's a permanent job. It's not subject to debate. If you're a mother, if you're a mother, your first assignment should be your husband, your children, then the job should come in. I know that we. St I think we have our priorities all wrong, mm -hmm. because I think now the career mm -hmm. has taken the place of. Because I think women also being empowered. The lady has a big, good job. He doesn't want to buy anything in the house anymore. Then why did you marry such an idiot? But you, you didn't know in the beginning. That's it a happened lie. Along That's the a way. lie. The moment I start dating Joy from day one, you are going to know. Not really. Let me give Frank. you an example. I've been in a relationship with a lady called Joy for for a year. Mm -hmm. You are going to know that if I have a problem, Frank will be there for me. I have problems with my rent, Frank will even pay half of it. Mm. I have women bills, he's going to sacrifice some money for me. I have problems with fuel, he's going to help me buy fuel. But you've dated a man from January to December, he's a Mukono Gam. He's not supporting you. He's not supporting you. He's not supporting your family. How would you expect this person to support you in the marriage? It's in the opposite. That's why many men of today. They are looking for you ladies who work in those big offices. Mm. Do you know why? You have a, a six-digit salary. He's assured that Joy works for, let's say, he works for a big company, they pay her six million. This man won't even work. His duty will be to come home and sleep. Mm. Joy, you are going to end up paying school fees for your children. You are going to end up paying women bills, pay for the grocery, even pay for the rent if you are renting. Mm. Do you know what is going to happen? Joy will end up coming home late after 10. Because if I'm getting a salary of six million, I'm expected to meet with my friends after work. And have a drink. Have a drink. Then you'll be going back after and midnight. You, sh you shouldn't ask me where I'm coming no. from. That man, to, he, you know they are very stupid. I'm sorry that's Frank Agashumba. I don't tell you what you want to hear. This person is going to ask you where you're coming from. But each and everything in this house, it's me providing. You're getting me. It's mm. the lady providing. Mm. As long as your man does pay women bills, he pay rent for your house. School fees for children. Don't ask this woman where she's coming from. She was looking for money. You're getting me. Now, it's the next thing you're going to hear, the marriage is dead. She will realize that she married the wrong person. She married a scavenger, a hyena. You know hyena? hyena. Hyenas don't hunt. They just wait for, for the lions. So we have many hyenas now. Oh my God. And I don't know where this culture is coming from. In Africa, men used to provide for their wives, but it's no more. And if a woman, if you're watching Urban TV now, and you have a boyfriend who is not supporting you in any way possible, kindly, <laughs> you are dating a wrong person, a man that cannot support you. If, even in the Bible, in even the Quran, mm. men are supposed to be looked after, but it's your opposite yes. now. So this woman you talked about, the moment she realized that I've been dating James, Sorry, we are married with James, and James, there's, I call it value add. He's not adding value to mm. me. He's going to get Frank Agashum. That's true. Simple. So Frank, we have to go into a break. We'll continue after this break.